Uh, I'm continually getting into the realm of more and more obscure titles. These are things that I don't even think... No, I... Uh, I don't think any one of you have heard this of this... Of, I don't know where I'm going with this. How about, let's do an intro. I don't know, an intro? 3, 2, 1! Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It is the B&R stream today on this fine 21st of August 2023. I hope you are having a wonderful week and will have a wonderful week ahead of you. My week has been very chill, very, um, uh, what's the term? Inspiring. I've had the inspiration to go and jump onto, uh, some project, some one-off thing, but there is actually a thing in the works, uh, that will go on the YouTube channel at some point. I don't have an ETA because I don't have an ETA on when things physically arrive at my place to do it, but trust me, there will be a thing out of this, and I'll let you know when it's coming, at least. Um, I still have a few things to do before, but hey, it will happen. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's been pretty chill, I've been playing a few games, and I actually get an opportunity to talk about some games, because I have uh, a title most of you, in fact, almost none of you have ever heard of this but to lay the groundwork imagine me a young eight-year-old i think eight or nine in primary school we got one computer lab you got a lab full of computers and they got to teach you how to use computers for 30 minutes a week it was my favorite time of the week because we get to do cool things like make a very crummy but sort of functional website in html functional as in you uh, it's, it's a static page. We didn't actually learn any programming out of it. Um, but uh, in the mitts as well, they would have to go, oh, we got to teach you how to type and add some educational content on the on the computers. And uh, to learn to type, we use an Australian program called TypeQuick. I do not have a home copy of TypeQuick, and I wish I did, but uh, you can look it up and they have like an in-browser version of the first level you can get an idea of it uh but one thing they did actually have and i indeed have a copy of this somehow is this check this out this is a game called numbers up the volcanic panic the number strand they double subtitled on you but then they don't have the the second subtitle um this is, um, this is in the realm of PC software I don't think anyone will ever own, ever. But, uh, the aim of the game is escaping that by collecting the highest number of that before that happens. Um, this is a piece of educational software intended mostly for schools. So, uh, also I hope you all love the, uh, the stereo aspect of the buttons, the fact that they make more noise on the left and right. Um, but this is a game where you can create, oh, let's create a person. Uh, this is me. Do I have a surname? Nah, I am at least, uh, you know, zero. Oh, I gotta have a last name. Great. <laughs> there we go. Um, but yeah, this is, this is a real basic game, uh, hold on, I, we'll, we'll keep the question level at one, uh, for a moment, and then I'll go a bit fancier, and we'll just start a new game. I'll literally play what this screen details, because without any, like, you know, also, I hope you love this, like, 2003, just goop of CG, goop, like, everyone made the fanciest, like, Weird, fake, electronic, plastic, whatever. I love UI design from this time. It's amazing. Um, but without knowing anything about this game, you're given a screen with three different boards. You can select players, which is uh, any combination of having, you know, two, three, or four players uh, with AI, and you will swap between players normally, uh, and you'll be on 20 turns. Uh, you also get to choose a character. You have... Six regular human beings, and a cat, a dog, and a horse. Clearly, the horse is the greatest. But you cannot pick your color. You're always bound to blue when you are the first player. And in we go. We are in the game. Uh, the aim of the game is to Mario Party. This game is Mario Party, but 
with math problems. Also, B and A O T. Nice. B and A O T. Very nice. I can't pan over to the left because it's like two pixels. And I keep moving my mouse over to the next monitor. So, nice. Uh, but your character will move along. You get to choose which way to go. You don't lose uh, money or, or uh, credits as it is. Uh, but every time you land on a space, you got to solve a math problem. This is, count it! One fine day in a place in the sun, along came a little bird. Then there was... Listen, I'm on the level one. I'll show you the level, you know, 100. I'll do two games. If you solve the question right, you get money. And depending on the kind of space you are, I think it determines the difficulty of the question. You'll see the AI... Well, also, they don't prompt you with the question if it's an AI. But he got less money because it's not as important a question. We must... Oh, put things that match into the red box. So, okay, so a straw house turns into a castle. Does that mean this turn... What am I doing here? What is this? Well, I guess they're all houses. They're all places people live, right? This is just like a bunch of random clip art as well. <laughs> I mean, this is the level one. Very, very young preschoolers can only understand so much. Oh, go to jail. He went to jail. Amazing. Um, yeah, this game's got a jail as well, so it's a little bit monopoly. It also has a shop. Uh, in the shop, you have uh, 10 different items. You can buy one at a time, I think. Uh, you have a take a gadget, which uh, does the chance time roll, but you can take an item from someone. You can teleport to someone else. You can permanently get five more credits for every correct answer, which is not particularly worth it in the grand scheme of things. Um, you can get out of prison. You can uh, use this to get triple the credits in this turn. You can swap positions. That is not the teleporter, by the way. The teleporter is uh, not with another player, sorry. You got a shield, which stops you from being stolen or swapped. You got a big swapper, which tries to take everything from people. Uh, this one, which triples a single dice roll. And this one, which is actually the most useful thing, and you, you should always buy it. And also, this in stock means you can be the only person holding this. No one else can buy it. You want to get plus two on every dice roll. That's it, just broken. It's too good. And then I got teleported. Uh, fairly close to the end. Uh, which is worryingly... I'm just overstepping it. Nice. Yeah. The fuel cans are your stars, effectively. Oh, what's the answer, guys? What's the answer? Oh, it's five. <laughs> <This is> a... <laughs> I hope you're appreciating uh, these math problems. You stupid AI, stupid. Now, if you land on these pink squares, you'll get a quiz, and you basically have to, like, quick type out some answers. Uh, well, that was a bit easy, wasn't it? <laughs> and you get a crazy ton of money. 141. Now, unfortunately, this guy's coming around, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch up. But we'll quick dart, cross and up. Uh, but yeah, you'll, you'll kind of be rolling in the... The credits, because I mean, if you know, a start. Oh my gosh, what's five ducks? Five ducks. There is a product code as well. Someone is going to give feedback about, like, you know, the code here. Yeah, I don't think he's got enough money. He's going to sell right past it as well. And he landed on another prison space. Very nice. Very nice job. Count the cars, there is one car. There are four cars. Put them in the square at the top. Um, but yeah, if I... <laughs> this seems awfully simple, but... Yeah, if I had to, like, go... You know, these are simple questions, but... Hey, they get you, like, thinking about some kind of math problem. And me as a kid, it's like, oh, it's like Mario Party, but, you know, I can play it at school. It's state-sanctioned. And I'll show off some of the other features of this. Um, there you go. Bought the fuel. Wow. Bro missed it. Just bought another one. Start at five. What's two less than five? Whoa. I think it's three. There we go. I'm a smart cookie. 
Oh, it's over there. Um, yeah, oh, we'd used to play this a ton at, uh, at school. Because this is like, yeah, you, this is the game. This is the game. We didn't have any other game to play. Four little birds flying near a hive. Along came another one. Then there were, it rhymes as well. How could you not get this one? How could you not get that one? But I, I like how it's not just like randomized puzzles. Even though maybe that's a bit of a downside. Cool, I'm a little bit further ahead. Um, but they definitely like, these are like, start at three, count up. Two, what is the new number? This is almost the same question that I got before. There's gonna be bits where it's like, yeah, you kind of remember the questions, but they at least got like a good number of questions and there's more to it. There is like, I'm not saying this is like, Oh, is this like what they were teaching me when I was like nine? And the answer is no, you're supposed to do it a bit trickier. You know, some trickier questions. Preferably some addition that doesn't go up to five. Maybe I shouldn't have done level one. Uh, I don't know if the AI is going easy on me as well. Uh, I mean, I could probably buy the triple dice roll. Here is one clown. Put these clowns- Oh my gosh, it's a whole square. Put it in there. Now there are three clowns. Wow! <laughs> um, yeah. So I- I have a bunch of games from this company. Uh, oh, I should have done the triple. That would have been fun. Um, I have a bunch of games from this company, uh, but they're all sort of along this lines of, like, proper edutainment. Um, again, it's like, I don't, I feel like some of these categories, there's just not enough questions. Maybe it, when you're in the, the basic stuff and you've only got, like, three categories of questions to even go off. Alright, let's chase up. Dang it. That's the problem with the triple. Start at three, move the ball back two. Leave the ball on top of the noon. I, excuse me, like here, there you go. It's one. I don't think I've generally had problems with how these questions work, although you know, there's gonna be some where we'll feel it. You don't even get to watch the air, I do stuff as well. You know what, it's a decently competent game. I actually tried this as well. Um, I'm running this natively. <laughs> I, I got it, I got it, I know Matt. I'm, I'm running this natively as well on Windows 11. It just runs, it does alright. Uh, it gets a little antsy because you gotta install QuickTime in order to view the videos. Uh, there's one at the beginning and there'll be one at the end. Start at four, what's three less than four? Oh. They'd always have this on screen because a teacher would love to know when their students are going to get off the computer. But at least, you know what's amazing? There's a save feature. You can just go boom, boom, and when you load your game, you load your profile because you have to log in. It's got that system. Um, <laughs> you, can, uh, you can just reload the save. And so it's like, wow, they thought of that. Oh my gosh, I'm dying on the inside. Uh, I love the look of this, like, texture. Oh, the oranges, by the way, worth, like, crazy amounts. I love the look of, like, this ground as well. Um, I guess one gripe I have is, like, you can't, like... Um, there's only five boards, and they're all aesthetically very similar. Gosh, this I am getting the same questions again and again. Maybe a kid doesn't have quite the attention span, but I don't know, I do right now. Or it's because I'm playing it by myself, which is not how the game is meant to be played. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch up to that uh, canister, but it seems that the AI has had no hope. Dude, dude. There is one block left. What? Oh, sorry, I didn't read the Comic Sans. 
that they programmed in a certain way. Okay, you get half the credits if you do it on the second gun. That's that's another sort of neat mechanic. Oh, you stole my my thing on the last turn. Nice. Uh, that's a sort of neat mechanic where the um the you get two attempts at a question and you get half the credits if you uh get it on the second go. Wow, he he did what I wanted to do, which is roll a twenty. And then he bought something on the last turn as well. I'm just saying, Mario Kart has the courtesy to not let you buy things on the last turn. When the game's over, there's a volcano warning. And suddenly it's like, oh, it's not over. You'll get a bonus fuel can for whoever got the highest total dice roll, the greatest percentage of questions, and the uh, amount of credits remaining. Fortunately, I had that going there. Uh, getting a question wrong and getting on the second go uh, sort of affects us. But unfortunately, he had the credits, so it wasn't a, a clean sweep. I hope you enjoy hearing that popping sound. You're gonna hear it a, a bunch. Enjoy the popping! It's in my left ear as well. Why does this need to be in stereo? Why do you need to count this? Oh well. And then, uh, yeah, you play the, the Mario Party game of who's got the most stars. We go in we go and then uh your your reward is you get to see a little victory victory animation this is the same animation for every level and someone's gonna win which means you will always see this It's erupting. Now, I used to always think like these were lemons. Or oranges. Because. <laughs> Listen, there's only so much that 2003 CG can, can do. But also, he touches one of them, and it's like, oh no, the engine's blown up, but then. I don't know, he flies like a champ for the rest. Weirdly, everyone. You know, it gets off the island, I guess. That's your- that's your outro. That's your- You did it. That was your Volcanic Panic the Number Strand. Now, if this was an investor meeting and I, like, showed you this, you'd be like, Wow, what an amazing tool for kids to learn how, you know, things work. You can click help up here. Uh... Which tells you everything, but in particular, this was the important part for teachers. It's learning what the mathematics curriculum of various Australian states in 2003 was. This is a K-9 to game. So I think at some point they're like, when you're in uh, year 9, which is like when you're like 15. Hey, it's not getting pretty far, but they do expect you to start doing like, you know, directions and magnitudes and other kinds of things. Uh, oh God, what we got here? Lots of stuff. Oh my goodness, jeez. Uh, different states have different curriculums as well, so I guess sure. You could probably scorecard your students on this one as well. Like, can they do these? But, I don't know. I've never been a teacher before. This is a lot of work. So, let's go in. Let's, uh, let's... Let's go serious on this one. Oh, it keeps going. It keeps going. At some point, it's like you do. Like, yeah. Keep going. Turn them on. Let's go. I'm going hard on this one. You've got an age reference as well, but yeah, it's just that, basically. So, turn them all on. Let's go. Also, I like as well, you can do questions only. And, uh, could we see it from the screen or no? View my stats. Here we go. And, um, yeah, oh, well. It's not going to show it if I'm if I'm this level. So let's change it all the way back. Woo! Back down for a moment. So while you're on a certain level, you can view the stats and you can actually see how many of the questions you've actually solved out of all of them. Um, and then yeah, like how many correct and how many attempted uh, for each category. Um, 
And uh, if I go back out, let's let's move this all the way up again. Um, I guess for the teachers, if you log out, there's an admin login. Conveniently, the password is admin. That's great. But you can actually see uh, the uh, the users t statistics as like you know an admin in this thing. You can. Okay, sure. Sure, the password. Oh my god, it just puts the password in plain text. <laughs> Can't believe it. Um, but yeah, you can you can push the students into being a different category if you want, uh, which is sort of funny as well. Um, but yeah, and then add users. It's not like too much, but it's like, hey, you know, you get to see what the users are up to and how they're going. Um, I wish you could see, like, what they're, like... How they're doing at different levels so let's go back in let's uh well level 26 let's make sure all of these are ticked and let's go in with a timed game let's go in uh stage five i guess that's the hardest one let's go in with a proper five computers and uh turn it up to 39 minutes why not i'm still gonna be the horse though okay so this is a fancier level uh, because I think from the looks it goes clockwise around the outside and then you've got three ways going into the center and three ways going out around. You gotta shop in various places. This is the hardest kind of question they give. And granted it's a little bit more involved. A little bit. We'll get there. We'll, we'll probably have some that weirdly stump me because I haven't done math in a very long time. But, I guess at the end of the day, you know, the game sort of has that kind of appeal, that kind of, you know, go for it. I don't think there's really too much to to say about how the- oh my gosh, what? Farmer Arnie has a temporary sheep enclosure rectangular in shape, whose perimeter is made out of 50 lengths of fencing of uniform length. At the spring sales, he buys enough sheep to double his flock. What is the minimum number of extra fencing panels that he needs to buy to double the area of his temporary sheep enclosure? Now this- Okay, so how I would assume this is what is the perimeter of, like, what is the maximum area he can get out of 50 lengths of fencing of uniform length? This means that, uh, like, I would assume the maximum area, well, it doesn't actually matter the maximum area, does it? Hold on, yeah, 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 because you, you get the maximum area of a perimeter, or sorry, of a, of a bit, the more closer to square it is. Um, I assume since they're uniform 50 lengths, that means it's going to have, you know, 7 wide and, what, hold on, what's the math? 12 wide and 13 tall or something like that. That means that it's got 156 square units of land he wants to now turn that into uh so from 312 what is 312 divisible by I mean, you're effectively having to do three of the sides, and then you get to reuse a side. So actually, you use two of the shorter sides, right? So if anything, it should be two, right? Yes. Okay, my logic on that one is I was thinking the minimum number to double the length. Like, imagine a rectangle. If you take the top side and just move it up, like, imagine the short sides are just one unit long, and it's all just super long sides. Um, if you just move, like, one of the long sides up one, and then you just need two more bits and you've doubled your area. That's what I was thinking. Look at that! They had a tricky question in there. Wow, it's a very popular space, apparently. Also, these people are nearly able to green can afford it. I should have gone in that direction. And I gotta do a quiz. Alright, now these quiz questions are a bit harder when you're on level 26. We'll see what we're up against. Uh, 24, 8, uh, 230, uh, 1, and 500. It's a bit trickier. A little bit trickier. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, and there it goes. And where is that? That is uh, back in the center, so I have very missed it. Hey, that's the joy of having four AI, though. You never know what you're up against. You could start stealing this stuff after a while. I'm just gonna get another quiz. Cool. I could sit on another quiz. That'll be fun. <laughs> uh, point nine. Oh my god. Uh, that's 800. That's six. That's six. That's ten. <laughs> Whoa. I love the, love the iffy one on me, duh. Jeez. So, I would like to inform you all, it's been a while, I know, I know, but I have to announce, there's YouTuber controversy, there's <laughs> YouTubers going at it again, uh, I don't think they've ever publicly gone, what is the sum of the product of negative 7 and 12, that is negative 84, and then the product of 12 and 2, that's 24, so negative 84 plus 20, that's negative 60, boom. There you go. The mystery number. Wow. Very nice. Um, the, uh, the YouTuber controversy is a scenario between Gamers Nexus and... Uh, Gamers Nexus Steve, I'll refer to him. And uh, Linus of Linus Tech. Tips. Not particularly... He's not going after Linus. He's going after Linus Media Group, the company. Um, and uh, he basically had a video um, uh, a few days ago being listen, uh, I'm not picking sides in this one actually no I am I, I like Steve a lot so I'm gonna side with him <laughs> also we got a pattern going on what's our pattern okay we got one four negative one two six negative one negative one negative five eight what is our pattern what is our pattern What even is this pattern? What am I looking at here? 4, 1, negative 1. Like, I'm trying to think. Do, like, two numbers, like, have an operator and then they become that one, or...? But then I don't know what's going on with 8, negative 1, and 5. Listen, I'm just gonna be looking at this for 32 minutes. What am I looking at here? The worst part as well is that, like, you know, the questions they give in this are just, that's it, that's the questions. So, you can't, like, update the questions, you gotta release a new game with better questions. So I'm looking at this going... 4, 1, negative 1, 6, 2, negative 1. They all have a negative 1. Do I make the case that that's a negative 1? And then what is this? 6? But then why is there a 4 there? It's wrong. I... Mm. <sighs> Am I an idiot? Am I dumb? I don't think I'm dumb. I, I, I legitimately do not know what I'm looking at here, though. The negative ones are throwing me off. Actually, no, the whole thing is throwing me off. I don't see a pattern. I Maybe it's like the top ones? Negative one, negative one, five, negative one, negative one, like... Oh, I got no clues, it's like four. Did I write four last time? I don't know what I'm up against. Zero? One? Someone in the comments, please explain to me what on earth I was looking at right there. Jeez. Um, so anyway, so Gamers Nexus Steve basically made a very long video. Uh, it is sort of a hit piece on Linus Media Group, basically calling into uh, journalistic integrity. Uh, there were a couple of points. Uh, in particular, there were claims of... Uh, Linus Media Group uh, effectively skirting um, correctness. Oh my gosh, jeez. 
Okay, uh, it ends in a zero. Hundreds crossing, it ends in a zero. There's a one, carry the one. There's a uh, five, because that's what the one added. Also carry another one, that is now nine and zero, so that's zero. Carry the one, that's two and eight, that's one. Carry the one, that's a seven. Cool, okay, next one. 99.98, that makes this very easy. You just, you just do that, this, this one off that, and then make sure you add the one in the right place. And then the sum of these two, that is one, carry the one, zero, carry the one, two, there's no carry anymore, three, uh, one, five. Are we good? Cool, thank you, I know how to add. <laughs> We've gone zero to a hundred, jeez. Random gadget from the shop. Oh, you got the shield? I don't know what these people are buying. Oh, it starts getting very hard at like predicting who you need to catch up to. Because that guy just picked up something now, it's right in front of them. The worst part is no matter how good of a question or you know, of maths you are, I, I assume this is just teaching order operations. Negative 24 divided by 6, so that's negative 4. Cool. Um, it's, I guess this game doesn't exactly teach you anything though, it's sort of relying on you to learn this stuff in your math class at the time, and fortunately in New South Wales there's a fairly strict, not strict, but like there is a pretty tight, like, you know, curriculum that has to be adhered to. Because, you know, you gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta know your stuff if you switch schools or you do the, you know, the, the state given school curriculum, school certificate at the end of high school, it's like, you gotta know this stuff, so. Um, so yeah, so there's lots of videos, or there's, there's multiple instances of videos where Linus Tech Tips, um, has released some false information. Some of this has just been editor gaffes, some of this has been legitimately that's there in the video and it's got to be caught in a comment or you know users push back on them. Um, some of these are like the host says something and then an editor subs in a correction but that sort of undermines the entirety of like what that like even was. Hey you know what? Oh they bought the dice roll times too. What have I got? One guy's got the shield. Uh, is, oh, that's a guy with... Okay, let's get that big swapper. Let's go for it. You probably want to see the big swapper in action, don't you? Yeah, I bet you do. One summer, Simone sits by the seaside, soaking up the sun, sand, and salt air. Suddenly, she spies a shark fin gliding towards someone swimming in the surf. There is 10 meters of sand and 25 meters of water between Simone and the swimmer, and the shark is 150 meters from the swimmer. If the shark moves at 2.5 meters per second and Simone at 1 meter per second, how far will the shark be from the swimmer when Simone reaches the swimmer? Oh, okay, hold on. So, Simone's sitting by the seaside, and there's a sh shark gliding towards someone swimming in the surf. So someone's in the water, there's a shark, and someone's on the other side, in, on the beach. There's 10 meters of sand and 25 meters of water. Ten meters of sand and twenty-five meters of water between But does, does that mean the swimmer isn't moving? Okay, so the so okay, so the shark is 150 meters. And he's moving at two, two and a half meters a second. That means he's got a whole minute. He's got 60, 60 seconds to reach the person. Uh, Simone moving at one meter a second, I'm just going to assume is constant here for both sand and water. Means I guess there's 35 seconds, they'll reach the swimmer. That means the shark will be 25 seconds away, which means we now go back to this and we go 2.5 meters per second times 25 is... 62.5? Am I doing that right in my head? 25 times 2.5? I think that's right. Yep. There you go. I like how it says answer in a polygonal box there. I gotta know my math. Jeez. Um, so yeah. Uh, there also do exist uh, calls to journalistic 
um, integrity in terms of sponsor segments. There's various people who work at Linus Media Group who used to work at other companies, or they have sponsors such as uh, Asus that... Um, uh, oh, let's steal the stuff, by the way. So we want to steal from Red Computer Player. We want to steal all the items. Alright, we're gonna try and get that three to the left. There you go. It's it's not that hard. It's really not that hard. So now I've just stolen all his items. Very nice. Very nice. Uh... This is how you do it. Oh my gosh, it's been ages since I've done this. Uh, okay, XCV is 95 plus 55. Oh, I'm just gonna write like this. Uh, plus DCC is 700, so, okay, so there's, it's gonna be, what, 850? Also, ordinary number? Come on, guys, you can say Hindu-Arabic. Oh, snap, I can't count. Hold on. Oh, LX is 40. No, that's 60, sorry. What was the first one again? That was... 95 plus 60. Oh, sorry. It was 855. Sorry, I can't count. I got there in the end. <laughs> Someone's probably yelling at me and going, Oh my gosh, you can't count! Doesn't know his Roman numerals. I could steal, like, a barrel from someone if I... Because that's the thing as well, you keep buying that item. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so this calls to the journalistic integrity. Um, but the, I, this all sort of culminates into a large... Um, well, into a scenario where, uh, oh, let's do this. Uh, the number is 27 multiplied by seven. I don't know my 27 times table. What are you on about? Well, it'd be 49 plus 140, so 189. Multiplied by 0 0.5. Okay, that's easy. Multiplied by 60, that's 81, uh, would be three. And then I gotta do 142, 162, sorry. And then add a zero. 104, excuse me, well, I guess the 100 is that, and the 4 is 80, that, yeah, jeez, bro, they're testing it, they're testing it at level 26, I'll tell you. Uh, but yeah, this all culminates in a scenario with Billet Labs. Billet Labs, uh, lent out to Linus Tech Tips a RTX 3090 Ti and a custom water block that they were creating, and uh, the idea was this was a prototype um, for, um, you know, some new cooling technology. I don't know my water cooler um, technologies very well, so... Um, and I didn't watch the video, so I can't tell you exactly really how that went. Uh, what numbers are common factors? Well, they both have one, um, and it seems that I think it'd be like two, because they're both divisible by two. Eleven seems clear. 22 and I think we're good because the only factors are like one two three um and 11 right and then oh and 30 no no not 33 because this one doesn't have three this one just be lots of twos if we're doing prime factorization that's how you do this this will be uh two to the power of three times 11 so, it's only things that are, have 11 and at least 1, 2. And then this one's 2, two 3, and 11. So, yeah, I think it's just that. Yeah. Uh, so, the Billet Labs video, they basically, like, the criticism is that uh, they goofed the video very hard. They couldn't find uh, the 3090 Ti that they had been lent. They didn't exactly make it clear that the 3090 Ti was lent. Actually, maybe they did, but I don't know. I'm not going to grill, grill them too hard on that. Other than they used the wrong GPU. They used a 4090. Uh, the the company Billet Labs said, yeah, uh, like afterwards, it probably won't work with a 4090. What on earth, by the way? Well, I mean, it's a negative number to start off. And then it's not, it's not a fraction, but it is like... Oh my gosh, what's the number they want? Uh, oh, it wouldn't be 70, because that would be 630. And it's two off, so it would be 68? Jeez, bro. 
Listen, maybe some of these are supposed to have a calculator or a piece of paper. I'm trying to do all this stuff in my head. I do enough math for a living, it's okay. Um, uh, so yeah, Billet Labs later said, there's about a millimeter of, you know, of space, of, you know, too much clearance. There's not enough pressure or something like that going on if you use the 4090. Therefore, I didn't lose myself. Cool. <laughs> I was a little concerned because that chance stuff starts applying regardless. Um, oh, I just realized we all have two drums. Oh, I might as well start, start using this to steal people's fuel. Oh, more quiz. More quiz. Uh... Da, da, da. Oh my gosh, four, uh, five, six, uh, negative 73, uh, 900, um, 108, nope, yeah. they get, they softballed me another one. Oh, how, I, 112 and a half, 112 and a half, some filthy questions go to jail i believe when you land on the jail space you got to do a question and if you get it wrong you are stuck and you can't roll for that turn well i know who i'm stealing my stuff from this is bound to get another one there's too many credits in this game i'll tell you that i'm going from green green Alright, what is it? It's after the... The three. It's after the three. Oh, dang it. I burnt my... I should have... Should have bought a crappy one. And then I lost my money. Yeah, they're buying those shields up the wazoo. That's gonna get another one. Oh. So, at the end of the Linus video, they concluded that the water block was terrible and it was a waste of money and people shouldn't buy it. Uh, that kind of feedback, um, the Gamers Nexus video said, like, that hurts, that really hurts companies, especially when it's not, like, justifiably uh, there. So, that is uh, 70, 65, and 65.3. That's significant figures, I know. I used to always say, like, if you do 9 plus 5 to one significant figure is 10. Just a fun, like, yeah, okay, sure. I love that particle effect. Um, so, yeah, so if the Linus video was incorrect about its assessment of the water block, which I still think is a bit of a mystery, like, at the end of the day, we still don't truly know whether it was, like... You know, like a, uh, an issue with the water block or whether it was, yeah, no, they, they used the wrong thing and they were doing it really poorly. Um, but uh, there was a defense. Oh my goodness, jeez. Gerald earns $32,655 per year. His tax and segments as follows. The first 6000 of his income is tax exempt. Income from 6001 to 25000 is taxed at 20%. That is... Uh, yeah, I was like, why is it 18999? That should be 19,000. That's inclusive. So that's one of the 19,000s times 20%, sure. Income from 25001 to 35,000 is taxed at 27.5 and income including and over that. But he doesn't he doesn't have more than that. So that'd just be this one, right? So 27.5, the 2, these are the right numbers. There you go. I'm a genius. Um so yeah, so so Linus on the WAN show, his podcast, kind of doubled down on basically going like, actually, did he ever? I don't think he said anything about the Billet Labs thing, but there was an odd comment of like, you know, if I go back and retest things, uh, is that worth another five hundred dollars of like staff costs? And I'm like, to some degree, it always should be. I just see it off the top of my head. I just that one quick fire question it always should be as a journalist if you can see that something is wrong you should always note that it is wrong 
because you can like it takes two seconds it takes no cost to tell a person hey yeah we want to confirm this and we'll we'll edit back a piece um let's get that let's get that stuff off green There we go, Steelers stuff. Um, do we just get it again or something like that? Yeah, might as well. Keep stealing people's stuff. Still got another 14 minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, that kind of stuff really, you know, like really stings if uh, the company doesn't, you know, correct this stuff. And and to me as a viewer, if Less than one. Okay, not this one. Uh, yes, that one actually. It's still negative. Um, yes, this one. That is 0.9. Uh, no, not that one. That is a double plus and definitely that one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, to me personally, I found Linus's me uh, like videos to be. Um, like, sometimes it's good, but I don't rely on them for hard statistics or really, you know, great testing. It's always, I think every media company serves as a met, a data point, a metric. And you should always, you should never rely on one company for, you know, like, all your stuff. As much as, and I'm going to grill into Reddit a lot on this one uh, later. <laughs> Stealing all those goodies. Um... But, uh, yeah, you should never, like, be like, oh, oh, wait, it's the other way. Dang, that's a iffy spot, ain't it? And then I lost a bunch of money. I should probably not be spending all my money, but, yeah. Um. But, yeah, like, I've not enjoyed some of Linus's videos. I think they're a bit too quirky and skirt some of the tech details in ways. But he is a big influencer, and so he does get the best kinds of sponsorships and, and, you know, pieces to promote. He also does pump out a ton of content. And I think that is also another point, and that will get brought up a little bit later. Um, so with the Billet Lab scenario, the reason why this really, really peaks over is in some confusion of a, I'm in jail. Uh, okay, hold on. So, well, 128 and 132 adds up to 260. And these two add up to 259. They're a little bit off. So 260 plus 259 is 519. There you go. Um, in some confusion, at the, Lion at the LTX, the Linus Tech Expo, is that what that stands for? I guess so. Um which happened uh, early August or late July, uh, that Billet Labs uh, prototype water block was put up for a charity auction. Uh, this is a very important point that you know that it was an auction and it wasn't sold, it was an auction. Um, but the, uh, the, the water block, you know, like, okay, sure, it's going away. Um, Billet Labs emailed them afterwards going, Hi, uh, that was supposed to come to us. And apparently, at two points before, someone from Linus Media Group emailed Billet Labs saying, Yeah, we, we know, it's supposed to go back. And in some, somehow, a turn of events, it didn't come back. It landed at a charity auction and then was sold forever. Well, not forever, because uh, they've contacted, they figured out who bought it, uh, and fortunately it wasn't a company. Some of the products of 8972 and the products of 12 and 336, uh, that's 108, yeah. Um, the, yeah, they, they fortunately found out it wasn't just like a company buying, you know, a prototype block off someone and then it's like, okay, all that intellectual property, all that research is for naught because some competitor has just gotten it. Very big risk, but fortunately not the case. Um, but, yeah, the Billet Labs were not very happy and they asked for uh, reimbursement. Um, 
Oh, I used my triple and then I land on that. So I got no money for that turn. Nice. Uh... Now, when the Gamers Nexus video happened, three hours later, Linus himself on the forums basically said, I wish Steve had some journalistic integrity and reached out to me. He would know that we didn't sell the, the water block, we auctioned it off. And that, that's like a big like, bit of like, huh? What? It doesn't, like, the problem isn't how you got rid of it, the problem is it didn't end up at Billet Labs in the end. Uh, okay, what's going on here? Um, <laughs> This is 49, that is 49, that seems right. This is 49, that is not 49. This is, uh, 48. This, no, this is 38. And that is not 38. And that is 37, and this is, I think that is 37. It's always a rule of twos, they usually like having two. It'd be weird if all of them were wrong. I haven't really said a lot about this game other than I'm just doing my math problems now. Have I commented on this uh, bizarre gelatinous like sphere that surrounds the world? It's a bit odd. Uh, let's just go around this way. We'll... <laughs> can never tell where you need to go in this. I mean, I I, I can sorry I can tell, but I never know like. What you need to predict. We we're all chasing for it, but I don't know if I'm gonna get to it first. Uh, so, yeah, so, so Linus basically sort of just said a bunch of PR speak. He never exactly disputed anything that was in the video, really, other than like, you know, oh, we pu push out a lot of content. And, you know, like, not everything is correct, but we're human. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, that would be, uh, 3.4, so... Oh my gosh. Bro, I'm not figuring that one out off the top of my head. That's a really dog math question. Like, excuse me! That's not- that's a recurring decimal! You gave me a recurring decimal question! <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Come on, come on. Okay, I'm I'm ripping this company for that one. Are you, are you kidding me with a recurring decimal question in my mental arithmetic thing? What a farce. Can't believe it. Nah, I rip into them. They you should recognize that you're gonna give give the user a recurring decimal though. I swear, recurring decimals never showed up in um like mental arithmetic like parts of maths. Jay's jeans is having a 10% off everything sale. Ben's jeans cost 45 bucks. That means that the original price would have been 50. Well, that, that's a relatively easier question. Relatively. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, now, apparently, two hours after the Gamers Nexus video, but one hour before the Linus Tech Tips video, uh, post, uh, Billet Labs apparently... Uh, told Gamers Nexus, we have not been in contact, or like, sorry, Linus said in that post that they would compensate Billet Labs. Uh, apparently the request to compensate Billet Labs came one hour before Linus posted that. By Linus, personally, I think. Uh, okay, one cup of milk is equal to 250 milliliters. What is the ratio of cups of milk to cups of flour? Well, they're both cups, so, oh, I guess that's cups of flour. Five liters of milk. Okay, in that case, you've got one cup of flour for two and a half liters of milk, which is that. So, uh, ten. Sure. Uh, so the timeline starts getting a bit funky. Uh, now, I think the next day, Gamers Nexus had a follow-up video. Um, it was mostly just their... Uh, weekly hardware news video, but they did dedicate 12 minutes of the beginning to effectively counter responding to Linus But just kind of saying no, we've got like facts to back it up and calling journalistic integrity is not at all like a, a fair play which um, You can make the case. Oh, this is gonna be fun if I get good answers We'll see 
2170. Did this really triple? I don't think this tripled. I played my triple and it didn't triple. I, f I, I feel let down. Uh, so anyway, it gets into a lot of lot of dice like that. A lot of just, you know, back and forth. Me personally, um, as well, there's another video and it's it hasn't been mentioned, but it's something that really should be mentioned um, in terms of like Linus has a platform and there is a certain degree of responsibility that a like not even a platform like that, but it's like making it clear to your viewer that this is a thing. Okay, so uh Silver, gold, and platinum in a ratio of 3 to 1. The bracelet weighs 36 grams. Silver costs $8 per gram, 15 gold 15 per gram, and platinum 30 per gram uh, per gram. At the time of the manufacture, what is the cost of the precious metals in the bracelet? Um, well, if it's 3 to 1, that means that there would be 18 grams of silver. So what's 8 times 18? That's 144 plus uh, 12 grams of gold, which is 180 there. So let's add them up. That would be 324. And then 30 grams of platinum, that's 6 grams of platinum, that's 180 again, so that's 504. Boom. What's with the swamp.com.au stuff? Is it like a clip art pack? It's very easy to use. Yeah, uh, but, uh, my, my case an example, and there's probably more videos like this, uh, but there's a video that's, um, I've forgotten what it is in its title because Linus's videos are real clickbaity titles. I, I do hate his titles. Legit, I can't figure out what the video was because he doesn't mention this in the in the title in any way. And I remember like he he had a, a sad video about a uh, you know, oh I won't do clickbait anymore. And for like two weeks it was better and then it was like nah it's gone off the deep end again. This video is like you don't need to upgrade your PC or something. Um okay let's answer this question first of all. Gingerbread uh this is the same question. 5632 of chocolate chip cookies, gingerbread men, apple, and cinnamon muffins, and coconut macarons. Bernadette's three children tried one of each of Bernadette's cooking creations. 68 treats remained after their sampling. How many apple and cinnamon muffins did Bernadette take? Is the ratio a red herring? Because there's four treats and three children tried one of each. So that is no. What? Oh, sorry, how, how many apple and cinnamon? Okay, sorry, so there were actually 80 treats total. And then, uh, five, six, three, two, so that means that's 16 total. So take the apple and cinnamon, which is the three, multiplied by five, that's 15. There you go. Sorry, I misread the question, but it's, it's a mouthful of the question. Um... Yeah, I, it's a video titled, like, you don't need your PC anymore. But basically, what the video was, was it was weirdly half a sponsorship for uh, an Acer... Um, I forgot the, the, the brand name of the laptop, but it's, like, the one that's, like, mostly recycled plastics. Uh, very environmentally uh, sound, I'm sure. Um, and I'm, like, cool for that, but, like, the video wasn't really about that. It was more talking about a thing called... Um, I, I was about to say Lineage OS. No, that's the Android. Uh, flavor. Um, started with A. Apollo OS, Alpha OS, something like that. This is. That clip art, man. It's gonna give me nightmares. Oh, excuse me. He's gonna nail this perfectly as well. Oh, you could just use this to steal three items. Oh, I should you do that next time instead of the, the big one. Uh, but in the video, they like effectively the OS is just like it's Windows, but with many services and things removed from it. Uh, one of the things that they did remove was Windows Defender support and uh, Spectre and Meltdown mitigations. Um, so that means that if you've got like an Intel CPU, uh, an older one in particular, you don't have- Oh my gosh, another one of these ratio questions. 
da uh, roses, daisies, pansies, daffodils, and marigolds, and three, three, two, one, four. There are twelve daffodils. So this also adds up to um, thirteen. Okay, there are twelve daffodils, which is the fourth one, which is the one. How many flowers are in? Okay, so if this adds up to thirteen, then take the twelve and times thirteen, which would be one uh, fifty-six. There you go. I think that everyone gets a turn, so I think I'm done. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, like, it, it includes these mitigations, and they briefly mention it, but at the end of the video, their conclusion is like, oh, this is pretty cool, and if you want to, like, juice up your computer a little bit, sure. But, like, real talk. Do not. Do not follow Linus's instructions there. If you ever, like you know, even think about using this OS in order to boost your computer, don't. Because you need those mitigations. You don't want to be, you know, left out in the dark. Uh, let me skip all this because, you know, you get the results. You don't want to be like that person who, you know, has, doesn't have these vulnerabilities and suddenly, oh, there you go, someone ransomware your computer all of a sudden and you're out of luck because you didn't get any of the automatic updates that would have saved you from years ago uh, problems. Um, I'm not saying, you know, you're you're inevitably going to get them, but it's more like you kind of want to not risk getting them in any way, shape, or form. Um, and uh, and that's a yeah, that's a huge problem for them to really gloss over that and not like not mention it, you know, in, in the conclusion. That's that's one of the most important parts. Uh, you may be wondering, what's the point of this operating system if it's got these vulnerabilities? And the answer is, well, in a non-network scenario. You don't need security vulner you know, security fixes when you can guarantee the interoperability of the, the device. Even, like, plugging in peripherals is sort of riskier behavior, but at least you can be pretty certain, hopefully, that your Logitech controller isn't gonna somehow introduce viruses into the computer. But then again, your Gigabyte motherboard can, apparently, so you gotta watch out for that. Point is, I found the Linus video to not be particularly, um, what's the term? Honest? It's weird, because it's like, well, that's not an honesty thing, but like, there is a role, and you should mention that. That is a major point that you've glossed over, and not really bringing it to the forefront is a problem is, you know, there's going to be someone who is going to get hacked and it is sort of going to be on you. I was going to say blood is on your hand. That's a very, you know, intense way of saying it. But like legit, it's like, you know, some people don't know better and a lot of, you know, there's going to be people who only watch Linus Tech Tips. So, yeah. Well, I'm not going to call it there because we have two games. We have two of them. Uh, they didn't make just one. Uh, they made two of these Numbers Up games. Uh, following up in the next, in the second year, uh, so not 2003, but 2004, they have, I gotta switch discs. Come on, there we go. Come on, disc. Look at that, it's a sequel, it's got two in the name. <laughs> we have Bag and the Dragon, Measurement of Space Algebra Data. They trademarked Bag and the Dragon as well. Amazing. So, yeah, this is almost the same game. <laughs> almost. I think I played Bag and the Dragon a bit more though, because, uh, you know, numeracy is a bit more obvious, but Bag and the Dragon is a bit more, you know, around... Uh, geometry, although it does say algebra in there, but it, it, it's, it's the same game. So let's create a new player. It's the same rules. Uh, the difference is this game now actually detects your age and will start you at a certain level. Uh, you can type in very... We're going to jump to the harder ones. Uh, this only goes up so far and you'll see that it actually stops recommending mass problems. Maybe because they're too easy. And length problems. But, uh, yeah, what's our, what's our reference as well, just so you know, what's the, what's the, um, do, 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 what's the 
How hard does this get? I thought I was hearing click noises all of a sudden. Strange. Um, that applies the index laws to simplify algebraic expressions. Like lots of this stuff. Thanks, New South Wales. Wait, hold on. I thought I was going mad, but no. Hold on, legit. Keep your ears peeled. You will hear a click sound at the end of the sound effect. I'm not going mad. I'm not clicking anything. There is a click sound in your sword sound effect. I thought I was going insane. I'm, I'm still going insane, but <laughs> I'm just saying. So, eh, let's just do this normally. At least there are eight boards and they're sort of themed a little differently. Sort of. Uh, again, though, it is mostly the same game. In fact, this may be the same map, I swear. Uh, actually, also, do we have... We have the villagers number eight, but it's also number four. I think we've got two pairs of maps. I can't tell you what's actually different between these maps based on the iconography as well. But let's just go in with the village and let's just go in with a long game. You know, let's just go in for it. So uh, I'm going to drag this out to the to the two hour mark. So let's let's do 50 minutes. Uh, it's the same characters. So there we go. It's uh, the presentation's a little different. I do prefer this presentation. It's the same items. Don't even like. Well, I can't even buy any of these because I've only got 30, but it's the same items. It's just, uh, you know, they look a little different. The I'm going to go mad over that click sound. Jeez. Um, yeah, you want the pony. Isn't that a little you know, horse riding the horse? Um, but yeah, the questions in this one are, you know, much more geometrically focused, which I think... Adds value to this one, so uh, Mr. Smith, a science teacher, has a bookcase dedicated to his collection of science books. He has just bought six new books that would like to place on one of his shelves. Okay, how many different ways can, on the, can the books be arranged on the shelf? Wait, sorry, what? Hold on. He's bought six books he would like to place. Assume the books are all placed upright with the spine facing out. Okay. He bought, he wants to put him on one of his shelves. So there's seven spots, so it would be seven? What? Hold on. Six new books he would like to place on one of his shelves. Is it referring to the fact that if you put them like on one shelf as in one row, is that what they're referring to? And then they're basically saying you could fit six books in here or five in one or four and two or three. So there's seven possible combinations here. Likewise here, this is a different shelf. So it'd be a different seven combinations. And then here it's like seven here, seven, zero, one, seven, or, or sorry, six, zero, one, so on. So you'd have like, seven here but then also plus six plus five plus four plus three plus two plus one for like the different combinations here so that's what seven plus was it 28 plus seven plus seven which is 14 so is that 42 are we going with 42 ah was this a combinatorial question well, 720 is 6 factorial. But where's the 6 factorial? Where are we coming in with that one? First question. First question. I'm already bamboozled. Amazing. At least the map is a little clearer. Like, it seems that they responded to all the feedback, but yeah, no, they've given me, like, absolute dog questions, I'll tell you that. And I went straight for the jail. Oh, sorry, the stocks. Sorry. Uh, Rick was running a raffle to help support the North Tigers rugby team. After Rick has sold 100 tickets, two tickets will be drawn out for the first and second prize. Rick sold two tickets to his mother, Sue. What is the probability? Ooh. Here's a... This is a fun one. If anyone's, uh... 
Oh, only winning second prize. Sorry. Sorry. You gotta not win the first prize. Oh, sorry. 98. Two tickets will be drawn out for first and second. I, I read that to mean... Two tickets would be... Hold on. Wait, no, sorry. Rick's got two... Oh, no, no, sorry. Uh, 99. You don't want to win the first prize. So you want to be one of the people... One of the 99 tickets that doesn't win the first prize. And then you want to be one of the two tickets that could win the second prize. Ah! Legit... There's only one ticket. That's the first. Don't you dare do 98 and 98. Oh my gosh. Am I going mad? Am I going insane? I'm going insane. I was blitzing the last one. And now, now Bag and the Dragon gets to show I am an idiot. Hold on. That question needs to be explained to me again. Someone is just going to go, uh, Dombey. But like, legit, I was like, it's the odds of... Not winning the first prize. Okay, so this is an electronic fishbowl containing electronically programmable fish. Fish A is programmed to rise to the surface of the bowl once every 15 seconds. B to the surface every 20 seconds. C is programmed to rise to the surface once every 9 seconds. At 6 a.m., they all rose to the surface together. What will the time be when they next all rise to the surface on the hour? So if C rises every 9 seconds, I mean, both of these will always rise on the minute. So that's fine. But if this guy rises every 9 seconds... That means that you have to basically wait, um, I think you can wait three minutes, right? Yeah, because 180 seconds, that's divisible by this. So this will be at 6.03 a.m. Because they'll all rise on the same minute. Oh my gosh. They all rise to the surface. What time will it be when it... Oh, on the hour. Sorry. Oh. Well, if it's at 6.03, it'll be every three minutes, so it's fine. Oh my goodness, bro. I can't read. I can't read. That's the first question I got right. This is going to be a struggle. This is going to be an uphill game. So what's the layout we're going for here as well? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out this, this stuff. So, hold on, I can go up and left. Is this going to pan? This is very temperamental panning. Uh... Alright, so this goes down, that goes up. This goes down, left. Okay. I get it, I get it, I get it now. Alright. So, moral of the story with the line of stuff is that the... Uh, the he's got some some things to go with um oh my gosh in this room uh he's got two plants a chair light green a desk yellow with a lamp white attached to the corner and a set of drawers dark green without moving any other furniture he slides the plant which is the the plant nearest to the window uh i assume this is the window uh nearest to the window three down do 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 eight to the left well that's at nine on its left side so that'd be at one on its left side and three up. He then rotates the drawers. See, unfortunately, you can't rotate. So, um, uh, he rotates the drawers 90 degrees anti clockwise. So that means that this corner moves uh, here, I think. This isn't exactly to scale. Around 7 2. Uh, yeah, so that's that part. So, actually. Oh, wait, sorry, 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 it means that this would be, I'm trying to draw the outline there. He finally slides both his chair and his desk two to the right, which is fun because that collides. I like how they have to tell you as well. Both his chair and his desk two to the right. What well, doesn't matter what he does with everything else, it's just the new coordinates of the corner of the desk where his lamp is rotated. And that'd be at 9, 8, right? Oh my gosh.
the corner of the d oh sorry it's at it's at 10 8 okay i can't i can't there in the end oh my gosh i i'm struggling i am struggling hard here look at these guys they got 300 strength and they got the popeyes <laughs> stuff and here am i just going oh my gosh i don't know my maths um so moral of the story is um uh, Linus, uh, media group has gone, they still got quizzes, it's mostly the same shtick. If anything, it's still, uh, some stuff I can do. Uh, oh, well, divide by four is three, but that'd be 300, that'd be 95, that'd be 0.9, that'd be 100. All right, all right, I'm getting back into it, I'm getting back into it. <laughs> also, yeah, instead of fuel, it's swords, which is your courage. Um, but yeah, the Linus stuff, they're taking a bit of a break, and I hope, I really do hope, that the feedback comes to heart. I think that that is really where this all comes comes in. It's not that people, you know, we really hate Linus and we're super envious and I landed on another jail. Um, this cube is made of smaller, each side being three lengths long. How many face center blocks are unpainted? There would be five. This is a Rubik's Cube kind of question. Oh, I could do that one easy. <laughs> um, didn't swap with me though, I'm stuck in the corner here. Uh, but yeah, no, like, I, I would still want Linus Tech Tips to be a much more informative and, uh, you know, truthful channel. I'm not saying they lie intentionally, I'm saying that there are things that are wrong and they have the opportunity to actually go and fix them, and they end up not doing that, and it's a little bit of a shame, because, you know, not because of just they have a large platform, but because they're, they're going too hard and fast, I think. Uh, okay, click on multiple transformations, it will change your orientation position of the shape from figure A to figure B. This is a uh, odd rotation, or an odd symmetry, as in you do that, and it's symmetrical around that axis, I think. So reflect in the x-axis, then translate one left, then reflect in the line. Uh, okay, so reflect in the x-axis. Yep, so that'd be green like here. Translate one left, and then reflect in the line x equals one half. Uh, that would not do it. Oh. No, I think that would do it, actually. Rotate 90 degrees clockwise around the center of the green block, then rotate 270 degrees. No, that won't, because you're, you're doing a 360 degree rotation. You're not going to change the rotation of this. Um, reflect in the y-axis and reflect in the x-axis, and translate for right. So that would flip it across in the same... No, that would flip it... Uh, green would go here, and then green would go here... And you'd be too far over. Reflect in the x-axis, then rotate 90 degrees anti-clockwise around the center of the green shape. That is not correct. Oh my goodness! Help, please! Is it actually that one? Oh my gosh. Why is it that they look wrong? Oh, I'm an idiot. No! This was a bad idea. I shouldn't have shown you how bad I am at maths, apparently. Dude, I'm gonna have, like, kids and they're gonna be like, Oh, Daddy, can you help me with some math problems? I'm gonna show them this video and they'll regret it. <laughs> uh... Let's see if I can go around. I don't think I can get it before 4K, but... Am I... I should really stop planning my roles to land on these, because I, I hate that the jail gives you no money. Okay, what would the structure view have looked like? Oh, I, I'm good at these. Uh, it would be... That. Uh, but yeah. Now, the Linus Tech Tip stuff can't just end there it has to keep going ad infinitum and uh you know the internet is never wrong 
the internet is never wrong. And if they are wrong, they don't. They make it not wrong. Okay, the points, which is curve intercepts the x and y axes. Uh, well, this is simple because I'm not, uh, like, doing much, much here. But yeah, 0, 4, which is here, here. Oh, wait, sorry. 0, 4 is uh, here. And it's a parabola, so it should be like that. Yeah. The equation for the axis of symmetry, uh, that's, that's just x equals 0. There you go. I can do a question. Finally, I did it. <laughs> uh... But yeah, the, the internet can't let them down. Now, I get, I get why people are a little up in arms. Actually, a fair bit up in arms. It's not, I mean, the billet lab stuff is terrible. And we should note it. But all the, like, getting the stuff right in the videos is, like, sort of another, you know, problem. Did I land on the orange? No, I missed it by one. I missed it by two, actually. Uh, strength is 90 and I still haven't bought anything. We could get the villain. If I had more stuff. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll just keep going around the outside. I might be able to afford something. Okay. Put each marker on the collect, uh, of the correct color on each point. The yellow and blue markers are on the same line. What are the... Oh, so, okay. So, minus four... And three, okay, so that's here. Oh, it's on the point, yeah. Minus two, minus two. Minus two, one. And one, minus three. Yellow and blue markers are on the same line. What are the coordinates of the line when it crosses the x-axis? When it crosses the x-axis, it'll have zero y, and then it'll be negative one, I guess. Oh my goodness! Minus four, th three, here, right, minus two, minus two, one, minus three, minus two, one. There is a line that goes here, right? Oh, sorry, then click on the coordinates of the markers which are in a vert vertical line, sorry. So as in they want that, sorry. Sorry. Asking for like too many things. And I can't read. I can't read, okay? <laughs> mm, can't read. Oh. Uh, and alive, I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy. I can't read and I'm playing your game 20 years after the fact. After when it would be relevant to me. I played this a ton as a kid, and I still suck at it. And I still can't buy the, the, the guy. I'm just trying to build some cars so I can start stealing things. Uh, six. Uh, negative two. Sixteen. One. Uh... Six. So... Six, one, eight. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so the internet won't let anything down. If you ever went on a... Reddit Linus Tech Tips, uh, or even Reddit Hardware, or uh, does Gamers Nexus have a Reddit? Maybe. Um, they were vitriolic. They were like, I always knew Linus was a fraud. Hashtag Linus, like making fun of his, uh, like an April Fool's gag, I think he did a bit ago. Um, and like stuff like that. And it's like, he gets tons of views, and also you're on Reddit. I don't, I don't know if you'd really know that. Uh, ooh, we got a, we got a sequence. He eats them by sequence because they taste better. Right? Five of the terms of the sequence begin at the second term. The second term is when that's two. So this is 100 minus. So that'd be 80. Then why did hitting tab go that far over, by the way? Oh, it's because they're slightly higher. Is that why? Yeah, you see where it's going? It's all over the place. Okay. No, I, I, I got it. I got it. You kidding me? I'm one space beyond. Oh, I can I can loop around. I can loop around. Four is awkwardly closer than I'd like. Oh, but he tripled. 
and he's not really much further than me, so... Okay. Hey, It's not gonna get me there, but I don't think he can get there on the next turn, and I'm guaranteed to get there? Uh, let's get the villain so I can steal something, finally. And we've got more, more quiz. Uh, so, yeah, so vitriolic Reddit, but, uh, this goes, uh, one step further, uh, which is, uh, the, um, listen, this is a different matter, but, uh, an ex-Linus Tech Tips employee by the name of Madison, and I remember her from the, uh, from the ROG reboot video, and then she showed up, it's like, hey, I actually worked for Linus Tech Tips. I don't know how long she worked there, because I didn't really keep watching Linus Tech Tips. Yeah, see, that's cutting it close. If I roll... I think I'm good actually, but yeah, it's still courage uh, from green. I made this a bit easier. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I knew I'd roll low one. Okay, uh, the x values of the points were aligned. Oh, okay, so, uh, y equals x squared plus 5x plus 4. Do I know this off the top of my head? Uh, I mean, you, you solve this for, like, when y is 0, and then you know where the two points on the grid, uh, it crosses over. I'm looking at this going, I think this is, uh, x plus 1, x plus 4. So that means that it crosses over at s equals minus 1 and x equals 4, which is, like, here? Here? I think... I think that's how we're gonna do it. Sure. Enter the two x intercepts. Um, so the the y intercept, the one place it intercepts the y axis, would be at four. The two x intercepts are minus four and minus one. There you go. Oh, I can do that question easy, apparently. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so Madison, as an ex employee, made a very long. Twitter thread or an X thread, depending on how we're going to call it. Um, basically going, also, am I going to double juke this guy because the courage spawned just a little bit further than they were again? And I'll take it. Look at that! Back in the lead! I've got this. Use the black arrow to indicate which edge will meet the edge A and a blue arrow to indicate which edge will meet edge B when it's folded. Oh, I'm terrible at these kinds of problems. Okay, so edge A is gonna, um, so this, these are opposite cubes, so edge A is, oh my gosh, hold on, yeah, edge A, hold on, that, that, that is not, I mean, this edge is that edge, which makes it simple, but then, like, gosh, I, I'm never that good at these on, <laughs> Off the top of my head. Also, this art of this guy up here. Jeez. <laughs> he's, he's gone. He's gone. Um, let's see. So this edge definitely lines up with that one. Uh, which means that this edge lines up with that one. Which means this edge is A. So use the black arrow to indicate A. That is that edge. And then B... I'm hoping it's the uh, complete other side, because it's like, this edge lines up with that one, that would line up with that, and B would be, I'm going to say it's here, I think. Holy crap, I'm, I'm a god, I'm great. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, so, but in her tweets, uh, she basically points at, um, like, mental health struggles, and um, effectively... Uh, multiple instances this is purely allegations mind you but multiple instances of workplace bullying and it, it can lead into harassment or just like you know unwarranted gendered comments that kind of stuff um and uh and you know like if those allegations are true you know, every single one of them. There's a lot of... Uh, oh my gosh, by the way. This rugby team again. Okay. Sold 100 tickets. Two tickets will be drawn out for first and second prizes. Rick has sold two tickets to the Mother Sue. Okay. No, I got this one. There's a ticket for the first prize. That means that they're out of 100 tickets, one of them will win. But you've got two tickets. You have two of the tickets. So you have a 0.02 probability of winning the first prize. Okay. 
that question makes sense, why didn't the other one make sense? Dang it, Sue. Dang it, North Rugby Club. Uh, so yeah, so if some of those act, or if those allegations are true, you know, there's a lot of stuff that probably needs to be addressed for, you know, Linus Media Group. Like, why are employees feeling this? Why is this happening? You know, are you not listening to your employee? Like, that kind of stuff. But, I would, like, please remind everyone, this is allegations. This is someone tweeting a bunch of stuff and they didn't really provide any like hard source or anything and even then like you know if it's a screenshot of a work chat I don't know I, sometimes you just can't believe it. I'm not saying she's lying I gotta really be prefacing this but I'm I can't guarantee you, no one can guarantee it's the truth because this is a workplace drama and taking it public is very hard because the public can't like we we can't verify anything. <laughs> A solar cycle uh, occurs every 28 years. The days of every month in a year will fall on the same day of the week as they did in one year, in the year one solar cycle ago. Okay. A lunar cycle occurs every 19 years. The phases of the moon will fall on the same day as the week as they did in one for a certain year. How many years will elapse till the next year when the days and the phases of the moon fall on the same day of each week as the original year? Hold on. So how many from a certain year... We'll say 2000 just for example how many years will elapse till the next year when the days and the phases of the moon fall on the same day of the week as the original year this is not talking about the sun so this is just be is that just saying 19 uh unless they're saying the days how many years will elapse till the next year when the days and the phases of the moon fall on the same day of the week as the original year. That's this. That's just the lunar cycle. The days and the phases of the moon will fall on the same day of the week. The phases of the moon will fall on the same day of the week as I did one lunar cycle ago. I typed 19. I'm now going mad. I feel like I've looked at this for too long. I'm just going to figure out 28 times 19 off the top of my head, which is two. F no. 560. 532? Why? Where does it say the, the sun? Because sometimes I, I'm expecting like they give the same like prompt, but then they ask like a different part of a question. Because, like, like, for example, that ticket question, it's like they told you, like, oh, this is the, they pull out second place prize. But, like, that question had nothing to do with second place afterwards. The original question did, but not the new one. Of course that happens when I use my spinach as well. I'm going to hang around the center. I think it's easier to bounce anywhere if I'm just chilling here. Timothy has been given a new Super Swine Water Saver Trough. It reduces evaporation and preserves essential natural trace elements. It's raining and the new trough is filling up with water at a steady rate. Click on the graph below. Okay, so the amount of water that comes in is constant. But yeah, I think the depth would uh, increase quicker over time because there's less width. Yeah. Uh, now, when the Madison allegations came out, suddenly this went from I knew Linus Tech Tips sucked to, you know, now public enemy number one. Linus is terrible. Like, it's specifically Linus. Uh, sometimes, you know, people will direct it towards the group itself, but then they'll be like, well, Linus was CEO, and he should have known better. He should have known everything that was going on in this company, which is, like, sort of true, but you'd be amazed how, like, much logistics comes in from a company that's 100 people. Um, Jackie, Mac, and Salty are three of my favorite... Uh, my favorite side they are they were marooned on an island with a monkey and a crate of 86 bananas Jackie ate five more bananas and salty mac ate three more bananas and salty the monkey ate six bananas how many bananas were left l okay so uh okay they've answered it three times for me but basically there's one of these expressions so there's 86 bananas uh there are jackie ate five more bananas and salty so, you should subtract 5. You shouldn't... Yeah. It should be this one. 
I don't know what on earth is going on here. S times X times X. S, oh my gosh. But it should be this one. Because you start off with 86 bananas. Jackie ate five more than Salty. So there's five fewer bananas than the amount Salty ate. Mac ate three more than Salty. Same deal. Uh, you gotta subtract the one Salty ate and then the ones that Monkey ate. It's that one. So. Um, yeah, oh, it's absolutely horrendous. And I'm not saying, again, again, just want to preface. I'm not saying, you know, like, Madison is lying. I'm just saying we don't know a thing and we can't corroborate anything. And whatever internal workplace drama you can think of, you know, let's start with get the workplace to address and manage it. And if they're not addressing and managing it, you know, hey, can't we get some other employees to, co to corroborate? Right now, ex-employees are saying, I'm not surprised. And current employees are, I can't say anything, but my heart is with her. That's, that's, mm, that's some damning evidence. <laughs> uh, okay, so what is this? A, B, that's 25 meters. Okay, distance between each vertical section. Oh my gosh, I forgot how to do these kinds of questions. Would you do these questions by like, this is like, imagine like, you know, Y level, z height level zero. You effectively draw a triangle from here to here. So AC, if AB is 25, I'm gonna assume these are like evil, uh, equally length. Yeah, distance between each vertical section is five meters. So just like assume that's, you know, this is five meters. Five, 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 five. This is five times the distance AC. And it actually doesn't matter which direction you go. It actually works out the same either way. So. Um, let's assume, like, uh, CN, if that's 4 meters, let's just assume it cuts halfway. Makes it easier if it's just halfway the whole time. Uh, so that would be 2 meters down, 5 meters across, that's 5 meters squared, 5 meters this way as well. Um, actually, yeah, let's just, uh, actually, yeah, if I, if I compute one side and then just double it, that should be fine. So, uh, okay, so, 5 times 4, that's, that's 20 meters squared. Cool. Okay. Uh, then we've got to deal with, uh, like, this length. Oh, that's a DO. Because this is 9 meters here. So you're going to have, like, hold on, 2 meters to 4.5. And, and then, like, 2.5 down here. Time, how, am I, how am I doing this in my head? I'm going to write down the 21st. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, math. Uh, so this is 2 goes to 2. So that's, you know, 10 plus 10. Actually, let, let's just... No, no, yeah, yeah. This is, this is 4 to 4. That's 20 plus... Uh, It'd be the five left over. Someone's gonna be asking where did I get twenty from? And the answer is yeah, that's kinda of weird actually. That should be ten. Yeah, that should be ten, not twenty. Sorry. Sorry, my bad. Okay. Then there's twenty here, because there's an actual full square plus another Five meters, five meters, twelve and a half. So now we're at thirty-two and a half, or forty-two and a half. Sorry. Okay. Then we're doing the same thing here. We've got three times five, half that. That's seven and a half. So that's fifty, and then six times five full. That's eighty. Okay. Okay. No, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. FQ is three. So again, seven and a half. That's eighty-seven and a half. My, there's method to this madness. And then 3 times uh, 5, that's 15. So 102 and a half. And then this has got to converge. So again, 110. And then uh, there's no 15 now. 110. Boom. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. I looked at that for like 5 minutes. Trying to figure that one out. But I got there. I got there in the end. And I'm a genius because of it.
Don't you dare, this is my stuff. Oh. Oh, you saw a key? Okay. Uh, so yeah, there are some things like there, like, okay, real talk. There, it was a person on that subreddit. Um, and I know, I know, it's subreddit trauma, whatever. Like, but like, there was a person who, oh my gosh. Who, uh, like, half a year ago, like earlier this year, got like a leaked recording of an internal Linus Tech Tips meeting. Uh, and they claimed it happened on December 9th, 2021. Uh, and it was basically like a very generic HR meeting. Um, let's answer this question. Uh, he's got two pot plants. This is the same problem, basically. So this morning, Ian bought two new chairs at 1-0 and 2-0. Oh, it's these two. He slides his old chair up one. His old chair... One chairs. Wow. He slides his old chair up one. Cool. Okay. Uh, then he rotates his desk 180 degrees around the center of the chair. So that's effectively here, but just imagine that the thing's on the other side. He slides both his new chairs to the right six. He finally places the pot plant near the door in the opposite corner on the drawers okay and then the lamp should be here so the lamp is currently at well it should be at four one. Oh my gosh he moved he moves the old chair up one he rotates the desk 180 degrees around here it should be here the, the lamp is around that right should be down here at four four one. Because I even note these plants are at one zero and two zero. We're counting the bottom left of the coordinate. Did I say four by the way? It should be five one. Oops. Oops. Someone's gonna be yelling at me on that one. Someone's gonna be yelling at me that I did that on the first one probably. Jeez. Um but yeah, okay, so so he posted this like internal video um, and suddenly like he's just, yeah, he, he, I think he like, you know, was a bit antagonistic to a lot of like line detective stuff or not, you know, that kind of stuff and, uh, you know, Reddit mods. Okay. His account got suspended at some point and a lot of the comments at the time were just like, yeah, this is a nothing burger. Stop trying to spread drama, like that kind of stuff. Uh, during the search for a real princess reality TV show, 20 contestants each spend a night on the bed, uh, which, right, dried peas? 12 mattresses were piled on top in order to determine the number of peas assigned to each contestant or candidates chose randomly from the selection of 20 envelopes, each containing a predetermined number of peas. The winner, Princess Rose, was the person who most accurately identified the number of peas beneath the 12 mattresses on her bed. Hold on. A varying number of dried peas had first been placed. After which 12 mattresses were piled on top. I think the 12 mattresses just saying the stuff on top so they don't know. So they got a random number of P's. Uh, these are the envelopes. Uh, what were the probability that the bed ran of, of a randomly selected candidate contained fewer than 5 P's? Uh, okay, so you're basically counting the number of these that are less than 5. So 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six. I think that's six out of twenty. That is a zero point three. Boom. Uh, but yeah, no, he had gotten banned. Um, come, come this new era of stuff. He's got a new account. It's literally a two on the end. It's you can see comments referring to his old name, and he just casually posted again. Suddenly, thousands of upvotes, uh, and people brigading the old posts basically going oh reddit age like milk don't you feel silly don't you feel stupid like that kind of like you know like rubbing it in for people literally calling it a nothing burger when it was nothing we don't we didn't really know about this internal stuff maybe you know maybe we didn't no no <laughs> but like like if anything, it's like, again, the meeting doesn't say too much. It's very generic HR. I've been at multiple companies where that's been the case. 
when people go, oh, what do you mean you solve it with, like, the person you're antagonistic against, or, like, you think you've been, like, harassed by? It's like, because in a lot of cases, it's a, it's a, you know, a miscommunication or a misunderstanding. Someone's done something, it's made the other person feel bad, and they don't realize it's made them feel bad. Talk it out. Don't get HR involved when it literally can be solved with a simple, oh, I, I felt bad when you said this, oh, I'm sorry, I won't do it again. Boom, easy, done. Not every problem is like that, but you'd be amazed how many problems are like that, that need to, you know, let's not drown out the problem, you know, the problem of the HR and work. Using the scale line before, estimate the distance between Neverwin and Poker's Striding. Oh boy. Where is Neverwin? Is this the real place, by the way? Well, there's Poker Striding. Neverwin is like somewhere above. Oh, we're doing the meaty, meter yardstick. Well, that looks like yeah, about 30, so cool uh but yeah like i don't know it seems like regular old hr uh you know sometimes it's in response to something and we should maybe keep an eye out if it is but we don't know it's an isolated four minute conversation and you can make the case of like oh james from linus tech tips made a joke at the end uh again it's like i don't know much about what's going on i don't really know him personally i don't know anything really all we're doing, really, is, like, pinning a, uh... What is this? What is that? Uh, 4.7... No. Oh, that's, like, 51. Uh, minus 173? Uh, 0.2... 16... 37... Again! Again! With the recurring decimal. They've got to stop this. That's two games now. That's two games in a row they've given me the recurring decimal. I was like, man, I'm taking a stab in the dark on that one as well. Jeez. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 like, I feel like a lot of people on Reddit are like, you know, pin he gave himself two items. They're pinning you know, a controversy, the pinning, like, motive and all this other stuff that they've filled in the blanks with their own, like, preconceived notion of what's going on. And, again, to reiterate, I don't know what has happened. We know someone's alleging stuff has happened. We might theorize, sure, that, and I've landed on jail for the fourth time this game. A moment was a medieval unit of time equal to one fortieth of an hour, one and a half minutes. The moment was divided into twelve ounces of seven and a half seconds each. How many medieval ounces are there in one day of standard time? You've got it! Wow! Wow. Okay. So basically, take the moment, which is 1 40th of an hour. So there are 40 moments in an hour, 24 hours in a day, which is, uh, 960 moments? Yeah, that sounds right. And then i got to multiply that by 12. Uh, uh, well, it'd be 1920 plus 9600. So 9600, uh, 96, so 5, carry the 1, that? Yeah, wow! Man, these are some real gnarly questions. These are for, like, the super bright maths kids. This is like a humble flex so I'm answering all these questions off the top of my head, but legit, it's like, it's because... There's a bunch of maths that comes up in work. We're doing programming, we're doing, like, that kind of stuff. You gotta be able to, like, throw out, like, some magic numbers from time to time. <laughs> you just gotta know, like, there's prime numbers all over the place. They're everywhere. They're under the bed. Yeah. So... Ooh. I don't think I can steal the strength cup, and that's making me a little worried I'm not going to have this, so I really need to... I can't steal anything from him as well, because he's got the shield. I need a double steal if I'm doing it. Or he loses all his courage to something. Actually, you know what? I've got a plan. I've got a plan. But I gotta, I gotta circle around real quick. What a dice roll, by the way. Hit the jail again. Fifth time. Fifth time's the charm. 
Mike is the best courier for the Rurala district yesterday. Recorded and grafted delivery route. He stopped three times, twice to deliver goods, and once for lunch. Was Mike's average speed? Speed is the key word here. High school maths is going to yell at you. It's like, oh, if it was uh, velocity, it'd be zero because he arrived back home or something like that. Um, but it's average speed, not including his stops. So basically, you would say he took 70, well, an hour 15, so 1.25 to go 80 kilometers. Well, add up add up the amount of time he went. So 1.25, then he left at 11 and hit 11... Deep? No, that's not 11, that's 10.45. So another 45 minutes. So that's 2 hours total. 2 hours 30, and then... Is that an hour and a half? So four hours total of moving, not counting the stops. Four hours moving. Oh, this is displacement. That's... Okay, so displacement is a... Uh, would be related to velocity because that's him coming back so he spent four hours going he basically went 180 k's and back so that's 360 k's 360 k's in four hours is 90 k's now boom easy i know my math easy <laughs> maybe i should do it do some tutoring for kids oh my goodness look at that Yeah, this guy's got no courage. Okay, you ready for the most mind-blowing thing in this game? We've got like five minutes left. And he's got the hunting dog taken. Darn. You can buy multiple items in this one. Uh, let's keep going. Cool, cool, lost my stuff. I believe the strength boost pot, like pulls up, so as more people land on it, it builds up. Okay, so I'm gonna use this on yellow. He's gonna shield this. Uh... No, it's not gonna do anything. And then. I'm gonna use the- oh, I can't use the second one this turn, but that's okay. I'm good, I'm good. I got this. This is my plan, we're gonna get this. Uh, okay, on line AB, 0, 1, 2, okay, the point P on this line has 12 as its x-coordinate- This is a y3. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Don't you dare, don't you dare. Whoa, whoa. The programmer trying to program how the AI does- He bought another shield, by the way. Use this on yellow, please. I need you to- Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I need him to get rid of his shield. Okay. Here we go, here we go. Okay, we're going off to yellow. Still on his strength. He's got the strength cup. This gives me a freebie and I win the tiebreakers. Uh, I'm just gonna chill in the center and hopefully I'm in line to maybe get one more of the, of the courages. And then I'll win this, so. Moral of the story with the Linus stuff, you know, it's drama. Um, I hope Linus, you know, or, or the, the company turns around and really does make better videos. Don't go on Reddit. <laughs> Just don't. Uh, they got 86 bananas, Jackie ate 5 more than Salty, Mac ate 3 more than Salty, uh, Monkey ate 6, all bananas were eaten. How many bananas does Salty eat? Okay, this is a solvent now. So, salt, so the Monkey ate 6. That leaves 80 bananas left. There are 3... Bits of salty plus five plus three. Uh, so if you take off eight, you'll have 72. And then you divide that by three, you get 24. Boom. There you go. Okay. So he's going to get the sword and it's going to appear somewhere hopefully convenient. Mm, it's going to be a race. It's going to be a race. I don't know if I can get that this turn. Uh... gonna be really pushing it because that guy 
could get it if you got a six. I gotta answer this question quick. Okay, uh, if the opposite angles of the quadrilateral are supplementary, then the four vertices of the quadrilateral, uh, quadrilateral are concyclic. Oh, excuse me. Um, if the opposite angles are supplementary, that is true. I guess. Oh, he's gonna steal the item. It doesn't matter stealing the item. I don't care about stealing the item. Although he did steal the horse. That's gonna be awkward, actually, because I was kind of relying on the horse. It's four away. So now I have a half chance of getting it. Oh. Oh, and he didn't even get it as well. Oh, because he... Whoops. Whoops. Wrong, wrong arrow. I gotta roll a four, five, or six on this one. No! Okay, I'm gonna answer this quick. Okay, cool. Uh, TN, begin at the third term. Okay, uh, 11, uh, 16, 21... Uh, 26, 31, cool. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. We need the sword, we need the sword. We need the sword. It's very important. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need another turn, I need another turn. <laughs> okay, we got there. We got there in the end. Uh, it's raining and it will get wider, so it's gonna be like oh the depth doesn't go down actually it goes slower Whew. Maybe I'll win this maybe I'll win this who knows Overall this one's got the harder questions, but I feel like I feel like some of them are just the wording is very rough, or it doesn't make it quite clear, or it actually does check for something that doesn't quite exist. Um, someone's probably going to be like, no, I am reading it wrong. You know, I don't know, it's, it's been, it's been a while since uh, my curriculum. Anyways, when this game ends, the dragon is coming, and, and there is a scream. Uh, but it is the same, you know, stuff it adds up with at the end. There's a total dice roll. I just hope yellow didn't win, but, oh! Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna say okay 50 million times. Listen, that surprised even me. <laughs> and then look at that. Who stole the strength right at the end? It was me. You gotta watch this all count up. Do you can barely tell that you win it because it. It just happens so quickly at the end, and then you get a cutscene that's the same cutscene as every other game that you play, but yeah. But yeah, no, to summarize, these games were parts of my childhood in some way. Me owning them physically is a very weird thing, because I've never played it with another person physically at a computer outside of school. Um, but they're definitely like, hey, there's a lot of questions that you can use and, you know, like, learn from. And I don't know, it's a, it's a brain teaser thing, you can practice. You don't get the video on this one, you just get a table actually describing like how you did, so. Um. But yeah, here's your, here's your video. This is the whole reason why you installed QuickTime at the end, right? Yeah. I'm giving props. It magically does still work on newer computers, although uh, the screen resolution is down to 800 by 600 no matter what you do. That's fine. It runs on, like, potatoes. This thing, like, yeah, I was trying on PCM with the Pentium emulated and apart from some fading in animations here and there and it taking a long time to load the puzzles themselves hey it does the job it, it works and i think that's sort of what the you know like this is this is one step beyond edgy you know edutainment this is legitimately educational software this is a thing that you'd install on school computers to teach kids how to math It's a little weird that he's a toy piece, canonically. Hey, look at that, he understands his uh, pendulum physics. And apparently that works. Remember when the St. George mascot, like for the bank, used to like be a proper legit dragon and not like the weird little cutesy one that's got like the high voice for some reason? 
think it's weird why a bank needs a dragon as a mascot. There's probably something to it, I know. Just lock him up. This is a very worthwhile conclusion. It's much better than the volcanic panic, because it's like, oh, it's a bit of an action scene, and then you get a bit of gag at the end. There you go. But that's... That's numbers up. That's both numbers up. Uh, these would probably cost schools like a hundred bucks a license. Uh, I mean, there's definitely stuff to it. You got your questions only mode if you want to, like, you know, torture yourself a bit. Um, I guess I got 90% of these questions right, but yeah, you're going to see, like, there's some, there's quite a bunch where it's like, uh, look at, I apparently don't know my probability questions. Um, but yeah, no, there's different questions for each category, and, uh, I guess just for... At least you can view the different levels this time. Only 11 levels, though. But, still, what is that, like, 3,600 questions across a range of difficulties? I think that's enough where it's like, you know, kids aren't gonna remember all the, the puzzles. Um... And yeah, other than that, it's a board game. Does all right. You're thinking about it. You're trying to really do the strategy and not goof up the questions. I don't know. Seems all right. So, uh, I I wish this company went on to. I, I might as well just conclude with a couple of things. This company went on and they made a couple of other games. So, uh, yeah, we'd play. Uh, there was another one we had called Word. Was it Word Up? Words Up. It's basically this, but with you know language puzzles. Um, but there's only so many language puzzles you can do because math is easy. Math is super easy to write puzzles for. Um, they had some other ones. They had one called Typing Tournament, which uh, I just didn't find particularly engaging. Um, uh, I think the only other one I had was a, a later one called Braintastic. Was when they were trying to basically be like... This is the most like... If I describe it, it's the most like rudimentary thing where basically there's a mini game. And you have to answer a question, and then you basically get 45 seconds of playtime. Um, and you'd have to keep buying the different games that you played. And the games were not fun. One of them was like, just click the flies, like a fly swatter game. Um, and, uh, and like, 45 seconds of playtime is like, that's like, like an ad. Like, a, like the TikTok generation, like, short form attention spans. Like, oh, I gotta do a question, and I gotta do, like, some playing. I get it. Like, from a high level, that's how you pitch it, sure, but, it, like, legit, I would prefer doing, like, a bunch of questions and getting a fair bit of queue time, uh, which I think you might be able to do, but even then, like, the games aren't appealing, they're not as fun. This, at least, the Mario Party business, there's not even that much that's, like, really random about this, but, hey, you know, it's enough, it does the job, so... Props to your Australian educational software, I guess, but until... Next time, I'd like to thank you so very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, or you somehow remembered this game from your childhood, uh, you know, feel free to suggest more games, I guess, or things that you remember, and if I can figure out how to run them, sure. But I got a few things that I'd also like to run, so next week I have one last incredibly obscure title. It is so obscure, I don't, I can't even find a single video on YouTube that has played this. The only thing I can find about this game is, or well, next week's game, is two people on Reddit have gone, hmm, what is this thing I remember? And they can't remember it. So someone, someone named it, they were like, oh, that was it. But no one's really documented what this is. So you'll be in for a treat for that. 8.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time next week, Monday. Be there, be square, uh, or catch the VOD. Or if you're on YouTube, you'll catch the VOD anyways. So sleep tight, don't stay up too late. Uh, eat your greens, and, uh, don't get into internet drama? I don't know, is that where it goes? Yeah, so, peace!